Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of my Benfica career mode. Here I am offering 150,000 a week to Falco. He better be worth it or else I'm going to be royally pissed off. Uh, but anyway, we've got our first match of the season. We're playing against Basfreda, a mid to low placing team in the Portuguese Liga. Uh, but they do cause upsets sometimes. We're going with the Geds in the left, Jonas on the right. Jonas usually goes left. I don't know why I've placed him there. My memory is absolutely awful. So uh, yeah, that's just my memory, lads. Uh, Anyway, um, yeah, we should we should win this game, surely. Um, but then again, the preseason uh, friendlies, it was two draws, a uh, one loss. Did I get a win? No, it was Jonas scoring one goal in a one uh, draw against Ruben Kazan, I think. Uh, but yeah, um, and also thank you for the awesome comments and the suggestions in the previous video. Um, unfortunately, I can't buy any players anymore because I've recorded past the summer transfer window. But it will be a surprise to see what players I actually get. Uh, but anyway, let's go into our first highlight for this first match of the Primera Liga, which is absolutely crucial to start at the top. So it was past Freda to have the first attack. Not surprising there uh, with my track record. Anyway, it's interesting with a beautiful right for the shot just outside that 18 yard box but what a wonderful save there from Julio Cesar just palming it over the uh, bar with his right hand there what a beautiful shot heading towards the top right corner of the goal but what a save there for Julio Cesar this guy's getting old but he isn't losing any of his agility or skills what a beautiful save so about two or three minutes later Benfica had a chance at scoring Jonas picks it up centrally gets mistimes his run and scores an offside goal it's disallowed but at least it's showing uh, some attacking movement and uh, showing the ability that we can attack that we haven't been showing in the previous games. Uh, unfortunate there, he just mistimes it. He should have waited a few seconds longer and uh, yeah, disallowed. Past Freda on a counter-attack, uh, Valint picking it up here on the left-hand side. Our defence wasn't very organised and watch this, he wasn't covering him properly. Andre Zing managed to get his head on there. He's definitely shorter than Jardel, so I don't know what happened there. So, so far, it's a pretty even match. I'd say Pastoreda are playing slightly better at the moment. Um, but, yeah, there's still plenty of time to nick a goal. And, uh, yeah, Feja just couldn't get around that defender. Or he hesitated in taking a shot. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty well balanced at the moment. So in the second half now, and I didn't make any substitutions because I didn't feel like I needed it. Anyway, Cahill down the right hand side, he can get round these men like a crazy boy. Uh, anyway, a pretty dirty foul there from Romeo. It was a two-footed tackle and he gets a yellow card just outside the box. But then again, I'm absolutely useless um, with these new free kicks. I just can't get the hang of them. I don't understand them. I'm sure I will as we go uh, through this career mode. That was a dirty tackle. Anyway, Grimaldo to take the free kick. I'm assuming he's the best at free kicks. Uh, that's why he's automatically chosen for this uh, task. But I'm going to go for uh, an indirect free kick, trying to cross it into Gedge. Gedge, probably one of the <laughs> smallest players there on the pitch. I could have uh, passed it to Jonas at least. Uh, but we've got the possession now. Rafa with the shot well over the bar there. Um, that was ridiculously high. Why didn't he just aim a little bit lower? Uh, but then again, he is an AI, and it's not really up to me. Uh, but anyway, great opportunity there from Rafa. A slightly misguided shot, but yeah, you know, it's a shot. A shot is a shot. Cahill now with the possession, passes it to Almeida. Uh, Jonas there waiting in the middle. There, I don't know why he's so far back. Anyway, Ortho with the ball. Uh, Gedge now, he passes it to Feja. Feja passes it to Gedge. Great play here, what a shot. It's deflected and Ortho puts it into the back of the net. He started off this play, or oh, he was in the, the early uh, side of this play. What a beautiful combination there between Gedge and Feja. And then a great reaction there from Ortho, sticking it right into the back of the net. And we're well on our way to getting these all important three points because of Orta. I didn't expect him to score but I'm not going to complain I am not going to complain because at the moment we're in the hot seat to get three points yes also, I'd like to say, guys, don't be afraid to give me constructive criticism. That's what the comments box is for, and that's what the thumbs up and thumbs down button is for. It's really useful when you guys tell me where I'm going wrong, or maybe, if you'd like to, tell me what I'm doing right. I will change things around based on your feedback, if there's enough of a voice for it. Um, but yeah, so far, all great comments. Uh, hopefully, I'm doing everything okay for you. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd add that into the... Uh, video because you know I don't say that a lot and I think uh, that you guys deserve a voice as well 
So Morris now with the possession, passes it to Grimaldo's. Jonas there in the middle. Uh, can he turn around, take the shot? No, Pitti's making a run. Pitti with the right-footed shot, it's deflected. And it was very close there to the second goal. That would have definitely cemented the three points. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting to feel the game now. I'm starting to understand how FIFA 17 works. And that's always a positive, especially for the career mode and for your viewing pleasure. It's no good watching someone that shit at this game, really. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think of Benfica this year? They're doing really well at the moment. Top of the league, of course. Um, this week, Porto drew, Sporting drew. So you're pretty isolated. Uh, five points ahead. Uh, so yeah, it looks like another title for us this year, unless something goes wrong. Uh, we are playing Porto in the next round, um, so even if we lose, we'll still be two points ahead of them. So that's always a good position to be in. Uh, but yeah, and it's Kirill with the ball, the man with the pace with the ball now. Jonas uh, receiving it right outside the edge of the 18-yard box. It's Almeida now. Uh, Jonas making a run, and it's uh, Ged making a run. The ball's loose. Jonas with a shot. Deflect. Story of my life. Rafa Silva now with the ball. Back to Jonas. Can we get something out of it? Bollocks. And that, ladies and gents, is the first win of the season against Pastoreda. Three points, hopefully putting us near the top of the table. There'll probably be other teams that won by a bigger margin, uh, but it's, that's a great start to the season. That is exactly what I wanted. Um, it was Horta that scored out of all the people you'd expect Jonas or Gedge to score, but hopefully in the next match I might have Jonas. Uh, so yeah, what a great start to the season. Myself, I'm uh, understanding the game a little bit more. I'm getting used to it. It's four matches in and hopefully I'll improve as the season goes on. But what a fantastic result. And here we go, lads. Falco has actually accepted. He's getting paid 150000 probably a shitload more than any other player in my team. I don't know if that affects morale in this game or not. I don't know how this career mode works just yet. I know there's a few differences, but they seem very minor. Um, yeah, there's only a, I think it's the objectives at the beginning that are different. Uh, and here I am looking through my scouting reports. A lot of players in France, as you can see, a lot of CDMs there. I need to get a CDM, I need to get a CM, I need to get a centre-back. And maybe another striker. I'm not 100% sure, but let's see. So the first player I'm going to go for is Gonalons. This guy has got a price tag of 27 million, uh, but I'm sure I can get him for less. Um, all these players you can pretty much get for less, but 22 million I'm going to go for. I know he's a great player. I saw his scout report. 27 years old. He's got an 81 rating. He can probably go to 83, 84, hopefully, but that is definitely my first player that I'm going to go for. I did check out Casemiro, but I know he's way too much. He costs way too much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to offer him the full uh, 50,000. I know the shenanigans that went on with Falco, so I'm not going to mess about this time. I'm going to actually give him what he wants. So that's it, lads, for this episode. I'm going to upload two more episodes tomorrow. It's going to make up for this short one. And yeah, please leave that constructive uh, criticism. Leave me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you prefer that. And thank you very much for watching and my previous comments. I'll see you in the next episode.